Well, the thing is that even though I am a cosmetic chemist and I do have my, uh, my skincare line, I just cannot tell you that um, there's no way you're gonna achieve a glowing skin uh, if you don't use any product. The truth is that uh, if you have a skin that is in good condition, um, you exercise, you have the proper uh, nutrition and you are not concerned about the aging and um, the appearance of your skin as you age, um, Know everything that uh, that uh, entails, such as wrinkles. If you have no absolutely no worries about this, um, you could uh, have a uh, skin, glowing skin, or skin in very good condition, even if you don't use any skincare product. So, if this is your uh, this is your goal, I'm just gonna give you three tips uh, that in my opinion are really gonna help you achieve this goal. Remember that uh, my job here is to help you achieve uh, your uh, goals when it comes to um, skin and uh, maybe even health. Um, I'm not here to just sell you a bunch of products that you don't need or maybe even if you need those uh, you just don't want to spend money on skincare which is totally fine with me so let's see these three things that you can uh, do to improve uh, um, your skin without using any product the first thing and i know i say this all the time and uh, it might sound boring but uh, you need to have the proper nutrition when i say proper nutrition um, I mean that your diet must uh, be composed uh, for the major part of foods that are not uh, inflammatory. So you must know that uh, many skin conditions as well as skin diseases have uh, um, one single uh, culprit in common which is chronic inflammation. So. Um, we do have already a lot of stressors that uh, increase our uh, inflammation uh, markers level. You don't want to further increase these markers, um, inflammation markers, um, by eating uh, food that are well known to promote inflammation. What are these uh, foods? For example, um, refined carbs, sugar a lot and also makes you age so you want to steer away from that uh, processed meats as well i am not a vegetarian i do love meat but i do avoid um, eating too much processed eats meats <laughs> sorry <laughs> because those have been linked not only with uh, inflammation but also with cancer barbecue meat should also be avoided when I say avoid, 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 it doesn't really mean that you have to give it up forever until you leave. I just mean that try to reduce as much as possible. So if you go to a party and have a barbecue once in a while, that is it's gonna be totally fine. It's not really going to affect your skin. But if you are making the wrong uh, food decisions on a daily basis, meaning you every day you eat the wrong food then you're gonna see a difference also uh, for the worse also in how your um, skin looks like your general appearance fatigue levels so um, acne and even psoriasis have, be, have all been linked to inflammation inflammation is not the only cause for these uh, um, skin disorders but definitely they have all these in common. So again, I highly invite you to avoid everything that triggers inflammation when it comes to nutrition. I am not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist. What I can tell you is that do your own research and try to incorporate into your uh, diet um, as many food that uh, fight inflammation as you can and while at the same time avoid uh, other food that are well known, like I said, to um, trigger it. Okay, this will be my first tip. The second tip will be to exercise. 
So when you exercise, so you sweat and you increase the blood circulation. When you increase blood circulation to the skin, um, you notice because the skin becomes uh, reddish, no? you, you become red, that's just normal when you um, exercise and that's actually pretty cool because it means that um, you are bringing a lot of oxygen to the skin. What oxygen does is what blood and oxygen, blood circulation and oxygen do is that they also increase the cell renewal and they bring um, nutrients to uh, the skin. So exercise is good. At the same time, um, I don't want you to like uh, become obsessed with uh, exercise. Um, and uh, focus on uh, quality um, rather than quantity, meaning that uh, um, in my case, at least for, for what I've seen, uh, 30 minutes a day of something that is high intensity for you um, is enough. And when I say high intensity, I don't necessarily mean that you have to die on the <laughs> at the gym. I just mean that you must raise that um, heart rate raise it at least a little bit and also you need to sweat um, after you are done exercising remember to clean off the sweat because sweat contains salt which are uh, which is responsible for skin dehydration and also um, it can lead to acne so exercise but at, and at the same time cleaning off sweat after you are done would definitely help you keep your skin in good condition. The third point that I want to uh, stress, <laughs> stress you about is uh, um, that uh, um, what other habits that can make the difference are for example uh, wear sunglasses, um, wear sunglasses all the time especially when it's sunny outside because that would um, do, do two things. Number one uh, is gonna help you protect the skin around the eyes which is very thin and that's extremely sensitive and also it's the first one that tends to um, to show the signs of aging. And uh, um, second of all it will prevent you uh, from making weird facial expression like this. <laughs> um, that also will help you prevent uh, um, wrinkles. And uh, um, also uh, sunglasses at the same time, um, also we, sorry too many also, <laughs> sunglasses uh, do protect um, your uh, eyes and they can filter out uh, UV uh, rays. Another lifestyle uh, tip that I can give you is that uh, um, you should avoid to overwash your skin. So, if you don't want to use skincare products, which is again, which again, which is totally fine with me, I still need you to um, avoid um, over cleaning, meaning that uh, um, harsh uh, cleanser or soap can really make your skin dry. So I don't want you to have uh, your skin dry because you know you don't want to use any skincare products, so you're not going to use a moisturizer afterwards. So you gotta be very careful in uh, um, maintaining uh, the, the pH uh, balance uh, of your skin and also you gotta be careful of not stripping away the oil from your um, skin because these two are the main cause of dry skin. Okay, uh, and I'm sorry to say this but beauty companies know this very well so what they do is that they send you a cleanser and then you get suddenly you have dry skin and you um, need a moisturizer. The thing is that uh, um, I'm not against moisturizer at all but I do believe that not everyone needs one. For example, um, I do wear a moisturizer only in winter when I, uh, let, I go back to Italy where the weather is very cold and it's snowing, it's windy. I do not really feel like I need a moisturizer here in LA where even in winter it's still uh, warm. 
so it really depends on uh, where you are maybe some periods of the year you feel like you need a moisturizer and I'm ready <laughs> I'm right here to sell you one some other periods you know you might not need that so I'm not gonna tell you that you have to wear a moisturizer every uh, day of uh, um, your life because that is not true okay but if you decide not to use a moisturizer you need to be extra careful of not to uh, do anything that can make your skin dry also remember that uh, as we uh, age unfortunately uh, we lose uh, collagen and we lose water which means that uh, um, you know around uh, menopause or uh, in general around from I would say 45, 40, 45 years and older, your skin is gonna be drier. So maybe if you are at the age, you want to still use at least a cream, okay? Um, there is a product that I do recommend you use uh, all the time, even if you don't want to use any skincare product. This, besides the sunscreen, but mm, you know, um, I mean, sunscreen is an OTC, so I don't really consider it as a cosmetic, but I consider it more as a medication. But as far as cosmetics, I do uh, recommend that you still use an exfoliant uh, um, once every other week, because that will help uh, um, the cell uh, renewal, and this is always healthy for uh, the skin. So, um, to summarize everything that I said, perfectly fine you don't want to use any skincare product okay this is achievable in my opinion if you uh, are not worried about uh, uh, wrinkles and you don't have any skin uh, concern meaning your skin is not dry you don't have any spots um, what can I say you are your skin is plump it's glowing it's, uh, it's not dehydrated so if you are in this condition, honestly, uh, no, do not wear, do not use any skincare product and just uh, um, exfoliate twice uh, a month. So this is it for this video. I honestly, I don't think I could have been more honest than uh, this and I hope uh, you will uh, appreciate.